This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Wednesday, October 6, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Alicia Coots is having the meat of her life at the Commonwealth Games. The 23-year-old Aussie won her second gold medal this week with a 54.09 in the 100 free. Emily Seabom collected her second silver medal of the meet with a 54.30 just ahead of Fran Halsell's 54.57. Both Seabom and Halsell have posted times this season that would have been fast enough to win. Coots returned to the semifinals of the 100 fly and qualified third with the 58-46. Ellen Gandy of England will be the top seed in that event after posting a 58-24. James Goddard provided the top swim of the day with a win in the 200 back for England. His time of 155-58 moves him up to fourth on the world list behind Ryan Lochte, Tyler Clary, and Ryske Irie. This was Goddard's second Commonwealth Games 200 back title. He also won this event in 2002. New Zealand's Gareth Keane, the junior Pan Pack champion, also had a fantastic swim for the silver medal with a 157.37, putting him ninth in the world. And a day after winning bronze in the 50 back, Ashley Delaney won another bronze in the longer distance with a 157.78. Seabom finally won her first gold of the meet with a 59.79 in the 100 back, becoming the only woman to swim under a minute at the Commonwealth Games. Gemma Spofforth of England also almost joined Seabom in the 59 second club with a 1.0002, with Julia Wilkinson earning her second bronze in the meet with a 1.0074. Seabom and Spofforth have been much faster this year. The big matchup between Liesl Jones and world record holder Anna Mae Pierce never materialized in the final of the women's 200 breasts as Jones won handily in 225.38. Pierce finished back in fifth place in 227.21. Both had swum much faster at the Pan Pacific Championships. The Aussies took all the podium spots with second place going to Australia's Tessa Wallace in a personal best time of 225.60 and bronze awarded to Sarah Katsoulis in 225.92. Jason Dunford gave Kenya its first ever swimming gold medal in the Commonwealth Games with a win in the final of the 50 fly. Dunford swam a 23.35 to outtouch Australia's Jeff Hugel by two hundredths of a second. Bronze went to defending champion Roland Schumann, who finished with a 23.44. Hugel looks to be carrying the flag for Australia in the sprint butterfly events. Andrew Lauderstein scratched the final of the 50 fly after coming down with a severe case of food poisoning being called Deli Belly, and is questionable for today's 100 Butterfly prelims. Cameron Vandenberg came out on top in the final of the men's 100 breast with a winning time of 100.10. He's now fourth in the world behind the only three swimmers to have broken one minute this year. Second place went to Christian Springer with a 100.29, and world record holder Brenton Ricard won the bronze in 100.46. Glenn Snyders, who held the meet record for a few minutes in the semifinals, finished almost a second back in sixth place. Australia won both 800 free relays with the women swimming a 7.53.71 and the men posting a 7.10.29. The women put together a team that went a second faster at the Pan Pacific Championships, but the men were able to swim faster in India and put up the fifth fastest time in the world. And Thomas Fraser Holmes had a bittersweet leadoff swim for the Aussies. His time of 147.04 would have won the individual 200 free the day before, an event in which he finished third. That's his fastest time of the year and bumps him up to 10th on the world list. The men's 100 free finals is shaping up to be an epic duel between Australia's Eamon Sullivan and Canada's Brent Hayden. Sullivan qualified first for the final with a 48.66 in the semifinals, and Hayden will be in the lane next to him with his 48.74. Remember, though, that Hayden swam a 48-18 leading off Canada's free relay on Monday, and Sullivan split a 47-4 on the second leg of Australia's free relay. Graham Moore, a senior at Cal, and Adam Brown, a senior at Auburn, will also be in the final. The men's Paralympic 50 freestyle was also swum today, and Matthew Cowdery of Australia broke his own world record in the event with a 25-33, resetting the new mark by just one hundredth of a second. So the big question is, why are we seeing relatively slower times in India? Media reports all over the world are quest quoting swimmers who are coming down with mild to moderate cases of Delhi Belly and it's affecting their performances, as any case of food poisoning would be. Games officials are not saying that anything is wrong with the food in the athlete's village, but they are not ruling out the possibility. 
We got day three prelims and finals recaps right now on SwimmingWorld.com. And back here in the States, USA Swimming has announced that the 19, has announced 19 men and 18 women who will attend the short course world championships in Dubai this December. Ryan Lochte, a gold medalist at the 2008 short course worlds, will be the headliner on the men's side, while Natalie Coughlin will be looked to on the women's side. You can see the full list and the press release on our USA channel at SwimmingWorld.com. That's the news for today. We'll see you next time.